Last year, I spent a few days learning a sport I've been wanting to try since I heard about it. What happens when you fuse mountain biking and skiing together? Well, a few trail setters did just that. Meet ski biking. I'm here at Mountain High, it's my first time up here. And uh, we have a little ski bike rally going on. It's gonna be a pretty cool experience to kind of see the community of ski bikers and maybe learn a few tips and uh, do a little bit of training. I heard this place is pretty heavy on the terrain park. So it'll be interesting because I haven't really got into jumping yet. I feel like I'm in good hands though. There's a lot of good ski bikers here. It's gonna be a good time. Brian. Meet Brian. He is one of the locals that lives up here and can really shred. He's also the one responsible for bringing everybody together today for this ski bike rally. I'm a big mountain bike rider and I've been snowboarding 35 years. And I thought, hey, you know, let's get on some bikes during the winter. And I found some bikes and got on them and I can't get off them now. It's just a blast. So when you're on your mountain bike and you're just you in the mountain, you in the trail, and you're just bombing that hill, nothing else matters. You're just hitting that trail focused 100%. That's the same way on ski biking. You stay focused, you know, you hit the jumps the same way. Everything is just stay on your game, ride your bike, and have a great time. Our goal today is to head to the terrain park, hit some features there, go over some jumps, and learn how to manual. Basically, do a wheelie on a ski bike. But first we need to do a warm up lap to get a feel for the bike and the conditions which are constantly changing throughout the day. fundamentals to mountain biking just roll right over into the ski biking it's all year long we're doing it that's the fun at first it's sort of the fundamentals of skiing or snowboarding edging right but once you're comfortable with that then you can really be playful and use more of those mountain biking skills to like do tricks i never thought i would end up in a terrain park with you guys are you shreddy we are shreddy let's go I want to try manualing. Okay. And I've gotten a little up in the air. What's the trick? Trick is stay centered. You know, I mean, once you start leaning, your bike starts carving towards that way, and you got to set it back down. Okay. It's just getting it up to that right position to where it's not going to fall down, fall backwards, you know, and just, just holding it. Okay. All right, I'm going to try the manual. You gotta lean back further. Kinda like this way, yeah. Yep. Okay. 
This is definitely more difficult than Brian makes it look. You have to lean way back and trust your balance while you're pointing the ski bike directly down the mountain and picking up speed. All right, what, what else should we do? What do you think? There's that box that's right up here. Down at the bottom, there's a bunch. Yeah. Okay, cool. something else what do you think there's a couple little jumps for you like straight there's another little box that's got a if, pipe in the middle have you hit that no we jump over them like you haven't rode the pipe no, no. no, no. why no. same reason i don't ride the box i'm going for it <laughs> it's hairy all right first time on the rail Oh, oh, thank God. Ooh, thank God for knee pads. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You all right there, Kevin? Uh, I'll leave. How's I'll that leave. feel, buddy? I mean, you know, it, it's it's uh, safety third and no pain, no gain. Yeah. Oh. Now I know what those pipes feel like. They feel like pain. They feel like pain. After that exhilarating and painful experience, I needed a short break, which gave me a little bit of time to learn about this place, which apparently has quite the legacy. We've been around since 1924. We were the first resort in this area. Boy, back in the day, people would drive their Model Ts up Highway 2 in the snow, and we actually had a big ski jump here, and people would come and train and watch people jump off the ski jump, and Mountain High was actually the proposed site of the 1932 Winter Olympics but it didn't happen here due to lack of snow. It went to Lake Placid. There's a bit of history here at Mountain High. You know, one of the things that I love when I travel is learning about the unique history in these locations. But enough talking, it's time for the main event, some serious terrain park jumps. Am I biting off more than I can chew? Let's watch an expert first. Sailed it. Sailed it, bro. What was that? I went big because I didn't want to go short. I'm getting that next run, dude. I have it. I know I do. All right, send it. Woo! The time is now, AC. Woo! I didn't think I was that high. No, it's really high. Ooh, I got it now, all day now. That was like <laughs> on the edge. But if you have enough speed, you're on it less. On right. it less. You yeah. get through it in a hurry. All right, I'm going for it. This is it. Here we go. Send it! More speed, the better. If you can get over the knuckle and you bail, you're on the downhill. You know, you're not casing it. You got it, buddy. I need to go faster. I'm not gonna break. I'm just gonna go for it. Dude, that was freaking awesome. I cannot believe I'm progressing this fast. You just have to let the fear go. I mean, I haven't been doing this sport that long and anybody can pick this up, you know? 
They just put in the hours and they'll have a blast. That was sweet. Now this place is really about the terrain and the features, not so much about, you know, just bombing for long periods of time. Like the one thing that I noticed is anybody can really pick up this sport and progress in a pretty short amount of time. You know, look, we haven't been doing it that long and we're already hitting jumps. You hit the big jump today. Yep, absolutely. You're you hitting know? boxes. We're growing together. Yeah. It's just something new and it's a great sport and I'm, I'm a real big promoter of it. You know, we jumped into it head first and I think it's it's something good just to see the people's reaction and it's just amazing. Absolutely. And what do you think? You're 15 years old, this is your first season? Yes it is and it's really fun and I'm on it every day. It lets me do all the jumps instead of hopping on a snowboard. Snowboarding is fun but it's a different balance. Yes. This is so much more once you get to that progression where you can start hitting jumps and features yeah. like mountain biking. That's why I love it. Yeah, well, thanks again for having me, guys. You know, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a really good learning experience for me. Yep. And growing pains, too. So I'm gonna have to get a little ice going, but you know what? No pain, no gain. So right, right on, guys. All righty. You. Going unpaved and living the unpaved lifestyle is all about getting out of your comfort zone learning to explore new things, meeting locals on the journey, and breathing that fresh mountain air. What are you doing this winter? I invite you to live the unpaved lifestyle. Hey everyone, I hope that video really inspired you to go out and have your own unpaved adventure. If you liked it, please click the like button and also subscribe to our channel. We want to keep bringing you content like this, but we can't do it without your help. We also have a Patreon link at the bottom of every video. If you go there and help support us, that would really be appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys.